Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. We've now got pack five of the Agora models release, a build the New York fire truck. We're building the ladder nine uh, fire truck and we're up to uh, pack five, obviously. Now I haven't actually looked ahead of the instructions. So today this is gonna be thrown on me uh, and <laughs> you're gonna be seeing it for the first time as we're doing the build. That's how we do things on the World of Wayne channel. We, we don't need to do any planning. <laughs> anyway, if you wanna get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I believe there's seven stages today. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start in stage 31 and we're going to be assembling a storage compartment in this stage. Quite a few parts to start off with, but I'm going to take this switch first. Just make sure that I untangle these wires. I do keep these. And I also want to make sure just that the switch works. No problems at all. And I want to take it this way and just put it over the switch into the position just like that. So the wire here is towards these two holes here. Now that's going to be held in with two of these H screws here. Got them. What a nice way to uh, start the build. Do some electrics. <laughs> so that's one. And I'll put one just in the other side here. Now by putting it in this way, as you can see, the uh, switch there aligns with the on off position there. So that's that compartment done. I can put that to one side because I'm going to be bringing over this door panel here, lie that down, and I've got this other side to put on top. And as you see, there's an indent in here for that magnet, and it's just going to be putting over the top just like this, lining everything up. And that is how that's going to fit. Now we're going to need to put some glue just into these little bits here. So I've got that together here, and I'm just going to place it around these lugs because pretty much that's what's going to hold it in. And again, align it with the magnet so that that fits in perfectly like that. We're gonna do the same on the other door here. Looks exactly the same, it's just really a mirror image. And there's the indent again. So this one's gonna be going on that way. Once again, just put some glue around the lugs there. And then put that into position like that. So that's two doors completed. Now on the first door here, you see we've got this semicircular D-shaped hole. Uh, we're going to be putting a handle in that. Again, this is going to be glued in. So I'll put a little glue just into that semicircular pattern there. Line it up with the handle, which is going to be going on this way. And push that into position. There you go, look at that. I love the detail here. And then this door is going to be going onto the box we've just created, making sure that the control board is at the bottom when we put this on. It's going to be going on this way like that. We're going to be gluing that into position. So once again, make sure you've got your glue handy for this one because it's holding the hinges. I'm giving it quite a generous coat on this edge here over the lugs to ensure that this isn't falling out and just hold that in. That's the first door on. In a similar fashion, can do exactly the same on the other door. So glue over the lugs, like that. I'm applying it with just my uh, pin vise, which is with a pin in it, so I'm not swamping it, if you like, in uh, glue. Again, hold that one into position. And just check that it closes into position perfectly, which it does there. Excellent. I can put that to one side because we're just going to be creating a shelf top now. So we're going to need this section just like that. I've got a small magnet, which looks like that here, which is going to be going just into the top of that section like that. And then once again, a little bit of glue just on the lugs here. And here on the other side. Matter of fact, I probably need to put them in there because the uh, the opposite lugs are going into that position there. And that looks just like this. I'm just going to press this into position 
like that. So that means we've got a shelf in there with a magnet in here, which is gonna aid these doors closing. We've actually made one of these before, if you remember. Now back in pack 10, we had this little fire extinguisher here. So we're gonna need that now, get that out. And inside the box here, you can see the two holes that's gonna mount this fire extinguisher. Now this is just a push into fit. So line it up. And as you can see, that sits in, no problems at all. Don't need any glue for that one. And then we've got the shelf to put in, which is just going into the holes just here. It actually fits into this sort of like trough here. So that's gonna line everything up. So as you can see, that's in with those two sections just inside there upwards, but the magnets now enable the doors to close perfectly. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 32, quite a big pack this one. Let me just show you all the contents of what we actually get in here. We've got this massive metal section here. Look at that with the wheel arches on. Looks like we've got another compartment there for a uh, storage box. And we have got a couple of screws. Now with a chunky part like this, you'd expect us to be doing quite a bit on this one. But in this stage, that is all we're doing. We're just opening the pack up. But So we need to keep these H screws and these D screws safe. Which it brings us over to stage 33, where we're going to be working on the right rear wheel. So I'll get all the parts out for that. And we're going to need to soak these in some hot water. So that means it's time to put the kettle on. A few moments later. So as you can see, got the uh, boiling hot water here. I'm just going to soak them for a minute before I start putting these rims in. Just leave that to one side. Get my absolutely filthy tea towel here, which I use for everything from painting to resin printing to everything. That's why it's so filthy. Don't tell Mrs. Welder Wayne. She doesn't know I've pinched that tea towel. As a matter of fact, I've got about five tea towels here <laughs> she doesn't know about. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take one tire out here and push this rim inside. A lot easier to do on the uh, smaller tires you find these. So make sure that side's imperfect and that side and it's pretty much as simple as that. It should look just like that. I'm gonna do a very similar thing on the other side here. So get this tire out. And once again, I'm gonna be pushing this rim inside, just like this. And again, make sure it's in both sides. One, a few more bits around this side here. Two, almost looking good. There you go, I'm happy with that. And that's the second tire there. I'm going to be putting these two tires together so it's this way around when we put them together so that you see these lugs here they're going to be going through so that when I push them in it's going to hold both of these together like that and that is all there is to do in that stage. So we've got quite a few parts in stage 34 but the first thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be fitting the tire in that we've just created and to do that means we have got to bring up the chassis now we haven't seen this for quite some time but that's looking like that at the moment pretty cool basically just turn it upside down we're going to mirror what we did with this tire here so this one here is just quite simply just going to go on to the spindle that we've got here get that threaded on like that it's going to be held in with an l screw got the l screw here and you see the l screws are flanged so there's no need for a separate washer for these and i'm just going to screw that into the center hole there and there we go that's all the way in and that's two tires completed there we have got a hubcap to put on so line this up and just put the hubcap into position where it goes here and there we go that's pushed in so now that looks just like that now i'm just going to open this stabilizer here because we're going to be attaching this to a part we worked on in the previous pack and just to jog your memory that looks like that and we also need some j screws i believe these came with stage 12. so we've got all of those together here and we're going to actually attach this just like we did to the other side here 
so that it's into position. So lining this up through the hole that we got at the side, over the lug, so that's in like that. There we go, we've got two lifters into position now. Going to get a J screw and attach that in there. Perfect. And what that means now is we can bring over the cab. If you haven't seen that for a while, that's looking like that. We're actually going to be attaching this to the front of the cab. Now, as you can see, we have got the holes just here to put them in. So this is going to be going in just lining it up. <laughs> just like that there. Now this section here, we're not meant to have put in yet. I'm just going to take this out. I only did it to keep it tidy. So as you see, it comes out quite easily there. It's all the seats and stuff, you see. Let's put that to one side. Because when I put this in, I'm going to want to screw this into place. And I'll be screwing it in with two of the J screws. Now you know what I'm going to say. This is all metal, so I have oiled the screw up here. Being careful not to catch that wire there. But I'm just putting this in loosely at the moment. So that's one on that side, one on this side here. And then I'm going to use my heavy duty screwdriver to get that as tight as I can. Perfect. So now that front bumper is attached to the cab and that looks just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now for stage 35 parts, as you can see, we've got this ginormous, absolutely ginormous piece here. Solid metal. And we have got a frame here, we've got some screws as well. This is one enormous piece of metal, as you can see, but that looks just like that. Now we have got this reinforcement uh, frame, which looks like that there. We're gonna actually be putting that in this way round, just into the uh, middle section that you can see there. There is a place for it to go. It can only go in one way. So it's gonna fit in just like that. And it's gonna be held in by three type B screws. Now they look like that, silver flathead screw. So what I need to do is just hold that into position, turn it over and just screw that in from this side here. So that's one. Number two at this side over here. Excellent, and finally, just one down this side here. Now we wanna take the box frame here, which came in stage 30. That's gonna be going over the top of this whole section here. And it's gonna line up with the tops of that frame that we just put in here, just into the holes that we can see. So I'm just gonna get that lined up to them holes. And you do need to make sure they're lined up, otherwise this isn't gonna sit flat. And that is all in. You can actually see where each one of those lugs have gone in. And that's all in place. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 36, I've got bits of fire engine all over the place here. We're gonna be assembling another storage compartment. And we are very much used to this now. Once again, as you see, we've got a magnet just into this position here. We're gonna to wanna to put this side over the magnet. So it's gonna go on like that and glue that into place. You can uh, tell it's very hot in the workshop today because the glue that I poured in right at the start of this, and it hasn't been too far into the build, it's already dried up. So but, uh, when this is in, it should fit nice and flat. Just like that, hog that into position. There we go, we've got the interior of that door done. Now you've got two sides of this, one with a magnet on, one without. So this one's actually gonna be going on this side here, this way round. So once again, get my little glue applying device. <laughs> I should really give this a name, shouldn't I? Once again, if you wanna know what this is, it's just a normal dress pin stuck in the top of a pin vise, that's all it is. There we go, hold that in. And there we go, that's that door able to close. I'm gonna leave that closed at the moment because what we're gonna do now is just put the, uh, the little handle inside the door. So once again, just in that little D, I'm gonna put some glue 
got the handle here, so I just want to match that up. So let's go around this way. So that's in now, perfectly open, close. Put that to one side, then once again, we're going to be making the interior shelf. So we've got this little piece here, which as you can see, has got a magnet already in it. And I'm going to be putting this hinged piece here over the top of that. So it's going to go kind of like that on this way here. So once again, just put some glue on these lugs. One and two. You see, I'm not covering it. I'm uh, just enough to keep this into place and then push that into position. We've got another little handle just to put on this section here. So again, line that up. And get that one in, just like that. And then finally, bringing over this whole section that we had done here, this is actually gonna be going into one side over here. So what we wanna do is push the hinge into the join between these two metal pieces here. Again, this is a little bit fiddly, but you can see, and it lines up with the holes in there now and then that means we can take some of these silver d screws and screw them into position to keep that into place and that one's two i'm just gonna use my heavy duty screwdriver just to get that in a little bit more because i do want these screws to be sitting below this surface here but there you go that's that door on and as you can see it opens and closes. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So the last pack in this one is stage 37. And we've got another compartment that we're going to be making. We should be a dab hand at uh, making these compartments now. And with that in mind, we're just going to be taking one of these pieces here. And we're going to be putting this one over the top. So again, the magnet here is just into that indent, which means we need the glue. Just put the glue over these lugs here. And then this can go into position. Make sure you get the right one. <laughs> I didn't have the right one then. <laughs> so that's one in. And we're just going to do exactly the same just on the other one here over the lugs it's not hard just make sure that that magnet there is matching up with the indent on the inside of the door so we've got this storage uh, box here which is looking like that so the first door that we're going to have which i believe is uh let me just look at these this one here with the end of what looks like fire on it is actually just going to be going on this side here it sort of matches the pattern that we've got on the edge there so that's going to sit in like that again Put some glue in here, being a little bit generous again. Perfect. And then put this into position. The advantage of not using a lot of glue as well is that you don't get much glue on your hands. And the last thing you want is glue on your hands and then get it on that nice paintwork. So, although I do need to uh, polish up this paintwork. Uh, on the other side here, obviously, we're going to be putting the other door. So, again, just some glue down these sides here and again put this into position so as you can see we've got fire on the compartment door now gonna put the little handle in like we did last time just into that D there put the handle here make sure we match that up this one should be pointing straight down just like that and then all we have to do is just put the shelf in the middle so just like last time take the magnet put the magnet in here put some glue in these holes to hold this into place make sure we have this round the right way and then just put that into position and all we're going to do is just take the shelf you see these little troughs here slide them down each side there and it will align the back and then that's in place. You can see those two little black holes at the top. And then that will enable the door to shut with the magnetic force there. So that's another uh, cabinet done there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So basically we've created one cabinet, two cabinets, 
we've got this lovely massive piece here which we haven't really done anything with and we've bought over what we've done here quite a big section here and obviously we've put the start of a cabinet at the back there's storage boxes everywhere and then the last things we've done is another cabinet here which houses the on off switch and then at the front of the cab which is pretty impressive we've actually put the stabilizers there which looks just like that and that is all there is to do in that stage well that was fun i enjoyed that and uh, it is looking really impressive here i do like the stabilizers on this <laughs> they're pretty uh, pretty cool um but that's all there is to do now once again if you want to get this for yourself i have put the link down in the video description you can get this all the way from pack one but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care